My, my. Here's a snapshot of our society today. This is our battlefield, if you will. Put up my first slide, please. 63% of youth suicides are from fatherless homes. That's five times the average. 71% of all high school dropouts come from a fatherless home. That's nine times the average. Next slide, please. 71% of teenage pregnancies, maybe you all don't want to hear this, but that's all right, I'm going to go ahead, come from a fatherless home. 80% of rapists with anger problems come from fatherless homes. That's 14 times the average. Last slide. 85% of children who show behavior disorders come from fatherless homes. 20 times the average. 90% of all homeless and runaway children are from fatherless homes, 32 times the average. Want to solve these issues, Daddy? Where are you? Adam? Where are you? I know this is tough preaching, y'all, but we've got to address these issues. We can't just put our head in the sand and pretend like it's not going on and listen to some talking head on some news channel, all these false prophets, tell us this is how we have to handle it. No! This is how we handle it. Come on, church. Saints of God, I could go on and on and on and on and on with these statistics. The vast majority of our young men incarcerated today have no daddy at home it's not systemic racism well I don't know maybe you don't want to hear this kind of preaching today well blame it on everything no the daddy needs to stay in a home is there racism yes there's racism Jesus told us we should expect it and it's gonna get worse not in the church, though. Come on, y'all. Not in the church. We should expect it in the world, unfortunately. Just as we expect lying, thievery. We expect these things from the world, but not in the church. God has called us to be one body. Greek, Jew, black, white, male, female. We are one body in the name of Jesus Christ. We're not united by black or by white, but we're united by the color red, which is the blood of Jesus Christ. Somebody in this house needs to give him a praise. Saints of God, can it be any clearer than that? Daddy, where are you? There's a battle raging in our nation. Let me say it again. It's not in the White House. It's in our house. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities and spiritual wickedness. It's high time that we have some born again, spirit-filled, devil-stomping, tongue-talking men of God that will rise up and say, enlist me. Count me in. I'm not cowering down to this wicked, pluralistic, debauchery, liberal, latent society. I'm standing for righteousness and holiness because as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. If there's anybody in this house today, put your hands together and give our God a praise if that's you. so sick and tired of dancing around this political nonsense. We need to deal with the truth of the Word of God. The Democrats won't set you free. The Republicans won't set you free. Donald Trump isn't setting you free.
for whom the Son has made free is free. Indeed, is there anybody free in this house today? Give him a shot. It's the truth, my brother. It's the truth, my sister, that will set you free. These people in the world that are bound up with drug addictions, they need freedom. No law is going to give them that freedom. It's the word of God. Somebody who's tied up in gender identity issues. I I, I mean, it's like... It, it, the, the government's approving it. They're ass- yeah, helping them. They're assisting them and approving and condoning and saying, oh, it's okay. No, it's not okay. We don't hate them. They're not our enemy. Come on, y'all, with the LGBTQ plus community, they're not our enemy. They're our mission field, somebody. That drunkard that goes walking by, you're going to hell. Come on, church. Where's the love? We always need to preach and speak truth. But if it's not bathed in love, honey, shut your mouth. If you can't say something in love. Did you ever see Jesus? Tell the prostitute, the tax collector. He never called them a brood of vipers. Oh, that's what he called the religious folk. They're our mission field. We need to go out and love. All of them are going to receive it. They might rebuke you. They might resist you. They might call you a bigot. That's okay. It's not the end of your world. They might call you a racist. It's not the end of the world. Hey, listen, people like to, that's just a defense mechanism. Because they don't want to hear truth, what you're talking to them about. They try to shut you up. You see it today over and over and over again with social media. Shutting down gospel preaching men and women of God. Because they aren't towing the political line. We don't tow a political line, right? We don't follow the donkey. We don't follow the elephant. We follow the line of the tribe of Judah, amen? Now, I know that's a heavy word. I know that. Trust me, church. We need a voice like John the Baptist, somebody crying out in the wilderness. In the midst of all this chaos and static in the airwaves today. You know, Paul wrote about Satan. He said that he's the prince of the power of the air. That's the airwaves. That's your television. That's your little electronic device, the airwaves, the videos that you're watching. That's Satan's domain. That's why you have to be very, very very selective in these days what you're watching, what you're listening to, what are you feeding your spirit. you got to be careful. You can't take everything for gospel truth, even preachers. Come on, y'all with me? We talked about that, I think, last week or the week before. Paul said in in, in, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, in the last days will be perilous times, doctrines of devils. There's lots of doctrines of devils today, a whole lot of them. So I want to encourage the men this morning. Stand up. Take your rightful place in your home. I'm not telling you to go home and beat your woman into submission. That's, you know. (laughs) Gary, did you hear that? (laughs) Because I I know my sister Sherry will beat you up. (laughs) No, for real, for real, though. Listen, church. God has put the onus on man, not woman. 
We are to stand. And I understand sometimes a man is not. God gives grace. Come on, y'all. I know there's some single mothers are doing some tremendous work out there. And we need to support them, y'all. Right? We need to support them. We need to love them. You know? I understand. There are a lot of dynamics. We've got a lot of mixed households. I understand there's a lot of, you know, dynamics to this thing. But God's divine order, that's what I'm talking about. God's divine order is the husband is the head of the household. We need to stand up and say, Lord, here am I. Amen? Come on, one more time. Put your hands together. Stand on your feet and give God a praise in here. Hi, I'm Pastor Michael Eurisha, and I hope you enjoyed today's short word. If you liked and agreed with this message, please hit the share button and share it with everyone you know. Together, we can proclaim this gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. Now, if you'd like to watch the message in its entirety, simply click on the link below. God bless you, my friend, and we hope to see you here next time as together we go beyond.